Hi, and welcome to the next edition in our video series, How to Digitize. Today, we're going to be working in Manager, just a little bit different, and I'm going to show you how to take a simple design, which we have here. I want it a little bit bigger and a little bit longer and a little bit busier. Now, I really like this design. Um, it's simple. It's single stitches and I want to put it on the back of a shirt or a hoodie, but it's not quite big enough. You see, if we go to normal stitches, um, that's a, let's see if it fits into a five by seven. So we click on that. See, it's just a five by seven design and I want it to go almost across the back. So I'm going to pick a bigger, we have a brother machine. I'm going to pick that. So where do you start with this? What I want to do is add more flowers, make it a little bit longer, and duplicate it and flip it so it stretches across. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to take out this little flower here because I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. So um, we want to just click around it. We try not to, this one's pretty good, but you try not to get any other threads. You double click at the end, and then up here you do split. And if you look over to the right, it's now taken that and it's split it from the rest of the design. This is all one piece and now this is separate. So we're going to take that while it's highlighted and we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to take the second one, maybe put it over here. We'll figure out all the placements. I think I do want another one right here. So super easy so far. The next piece I'd like to take is this, this green. Now, to do it the way I just did the other one, you take the freehand select mode and you'd have to zoom in and, and you'd have to dig right in and make sure you don't get any of the blue. But there's an easier way of doing it. You go on the color. Oops, I clicked it and now it hit it. And you right click and we're kind of off screen. Sorry about that, but you should know what they all are and it's going to be hide all colors except this one. And look at that. Now it makes it. Now these three, because they're not grouped in, it's just con concerned with this one. So now when you use the freehand thing, it's super easy to do. You can just do it really, really quickly. Double click and it highlights it and on mine it turns it red and then you separate it. Okay, so now you can see over on the right that it's separated and now we're going to duplicate it. Um, I want all my other colors to show because I don't know what I'm doing. So you right click and you go to show all colors. Now my whole design's back. Well, that looks kind of silly right there. So we're going to right click and we're going to rotate and we're going to rotate it left. And see that fits in. I kind of like that. We could do it so they touch. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Uh, I don't think you'd notice anything there. Yeah, my, my dogs are barking. Let's just give them a second. Okay, moving on. So I think I would like a couple more of these flowers. Just kind of to make it look pretty. However, on these ones, I'd like to change the color. You have lots of options to change the colors of the flowers. You click on it. So I'm going to double click because we always use the brother palette and we could bring some pink in here quite nicely. Let's do two of them pink. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's fine. So I also want right here one of the bigger flowers and I'm also going to change the colors. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see my stitches. Go back to the freehand tool. Now these ones are nicely set apart, so I'm not going to catch any stitches in there. And I'm just clicking around, left clicking. And then we're going to separate. And then let's go back and you right click to, because I want to see what I'm doing. I like to see the whole hoop so I know how big I'm getting. So that one's separate now. And there's two colors. So you see on the right there's two colors. So you right click, you duplicate, and I'm going to put it right I think right around here I think that looks good and I might make that one pink so double click pink uh, except for I did the wrong one <laughs> so you go to edit undo 
Let's click on this one and look. Yes, that's the correct one. So pink. And we can do, I don't know, how about a black center? That's, that's pretty. I'm starting to like that. So, so far it's easy. You can cut if you have a picture of a snowman and, you know, the sun shining and you want to cut out the sunshine. This is how you do it. So, so far, this is looking pretty good. I might add a few more flowers because that looks just to keep it a little more balanced. It's just taste. Whoops. And there we go. I think that looks great. So before you can send it to the machine or do anything with it, you have to group the whole thing. So let's group it. And all I did was just pull out a box and then you go back to the same thing and now it's join. So you join everything, but look, wow, that's a lot of colors. We don't want that. So you right click and you do colors and we're off screen, but you're doing smart color sort. And that's going to sort it out. Now that looks much better. So for this one, I'm going to move it over and then we're going to duplicate it because I want a really nice spray kind of going out. Um, that doesn't look very good like that, obviously. So you right click and then we're going to rotate it. Actually, I think we're going to mirror it because I think that would look better rather than rotating it. And let's move it over. I want these two touching. See, doesn't that look better? It's a little busier. We've got a few more stitches. I kind of like that. I would like the angle just a little bit different on these ones. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to rotate and we're going to go to free rotate. And you could also use control R on the keyboard. Um, how about 20 degrees? Yeah, let's try that and see how far. Oh, I like that. Move it over to the edge and let's see, right click and we're going to go to rotate, free rotate again. And this one is just going to be 20 degrees. Yeah, I like that. They cross over a little bit and I like that, but I tell you what we can do to make that look better. Let's zoom in. And let's go to our tool there and click, double click, separate, right click, duplicate. And we can do, it's not a very dense thing, but you know what, that'll look actually really, really pretty. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. so. Let's zoom out so we can see the big picture. You can maybe angle it down. I kind of like how that looks like that. And they will come together um, and look pretty darn good. So I think that has a nice overall shape. So we took a simple design. We cut it up and we added things. Now we're getting a new dash hound this weekend and this may be for his blanket. So why don't we show you how to add some lettering to and just quickly, we'll go into more detail with that. So his new name is Gallifrey and we're gonna be calling him Galley for short. Whoops, can I type today? Nope. So let's see what we can do with that lettering. I kind of like that. Uh, I don't know if I like the font or not. I guess it's okay. It's not the color that I want. It's a boy, but let's so let's do it in the green because that'll match the the blanket quite nicely. So we can just put the lettering there, and that'll be really pretty for the blanket. Um, so you can add the lettering. You can, if you want to do fancier lettering, you obviously you have to go into studio. Now we could bring this whole design into studio and we can do it a whole different way. But if you want to work in manager and you're making one change, it's really easy to do. Now I'm just going back and undoing everything so you can see what we started with. And then I can show you in 
studio uh, what we can do. Lots of clicking here, but they go back quite far. Okay, I didn't think it would go this far, but that's okay. You get the idea. Any, if you go back and you find a mistake that you made, you can go way back. So it's good to know. So this whole design, we have it all in one. You go to edit, and then you go to edit stitch file in studio. And that's going to bring you right in to studio. It takes a minute, of course. It has to render everything. And now we have our design. I Whoops. Already I have to do that. Edit, undo. And I'm just going to... So there we go. We have our design in studio. And we have a little more freedom in studio to make changes. So if you just wanted to take out one thing... Uh, I would suggest manager. If you're going to get all fancy, I would do it in studio. You can see over on the right, we have all of our things separated. So that's going to make it very easy to change the colors. So it highlights it. I'm going to, I want to change all these, um, actually the pink ones and you press shift key. Let's change them to blue. You click and you drag it down and let it go. And now they're all blue. So that's that's a nice blue thing. So how about we put some lettering? We can do a little bit more with lettering. We'll just do it single-sided. So we're going to do it Gallifrey and then brackets Galley because that's the name of our new baby. So let's pick a different font this time. Oh, we could do something like Old English. Yeah, because Gal that's what Gallifrey stands like sounds like now we generate and I always right click and I group the lettering because um, if you're not exactly sure where it go where it's going it's kind of nice to mo be able to move it around so that looks good in old English and this will be a lovely design when I'm done so we can go up to text and I don't know if we want to change the baseline, but we can go right click, edit text. We can do quite a few things. Uh, I think I like it though. I was going to change it, but I think I like it. So what we want to find, click on it, highlight it. We want to go to transform and we want to go to envelope. This opens a whole thing down here. Now you can play with the lettering just a little bit more. Hmm, how about something like this? It changes the shape of it. See, I like that. That looks really good. And I just generally, uh, unless I have an exact idea of uh, what I want, I just click on it. Now, you click on this little red square, and that's going to bring it up so you have more of an arc on it. Yeah, I like that. And then you generate stitches to finish. We could even put that over top. That's almost pr better over top. The letters are stretched a little bit, but you can still see them. They match, and I think that looks absolutely fantastic. And that is how you modify an already existing design. Um, neither one of these were EOF files. They were DST files. So you can edit the DST very quickly in Manager, or you can uh, take the whole DST into um, Studio and do more detailed work. It's a lot easier. You don't have to cut anything out. You don't have to do anything else. Now, when I save this, this is going to be an EOF file. And I'm going to save it, and it'll go back into the workspace, and you can save it on whatever design you need. You cannot run an EOF file on your machines. It, for, for us, we use DST and PES for our two big brother machines. Um, but then you have this saved, and say you don't like this, you right click, edit text. Let's go back to something if we just want it plain. Makes it really easy to do. And you can play around with what you like best. That was the same font we used on the uh, in the manager. And apparently I have to click twice. And there we go, Gallifrey. I right click and group. So it's all in one. I don't have to go back and highlight anything. And then uh, transform. 
envelope. Let's see if this looks better. You can also make a custom envelope. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I would think it would be kind of fun. I like this one. So you drag out this corner. So you can make it as weird and as wonky as you want. The Gallifrey kind of spacey. Yeah, that's kind of neat. We can bring down bring it down and stretch it so you can really do a lot with the lettering and play around with it um, I don't really like that I was just playing around so edit undo that's where the undo comes in handy again edit undo edit undo oh and one more apparently edit undo there we go now we're getting back to normal okay so now we just have a little arc on it I'm going to generate stitches and then I'm going to pull this out here and make it bigger so you can see it. So there we go with Gallifrey. And that's a nice design. I think that's kind of cute for a blanket um, and I think you'll like it very much. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned how to um, manipulate and adjust and make changes to designs in manager very quickly if you don't like an object on it you can just simply cut it out and delete it or duplicate it like i did with the flowers and made a more full design thank you very much